You're watching Hexus TV and welcome to yet another How to Pacify Your PC show with Quiet PC. In this show we're going to be showing you how to get one of these off of your graphics card to make it look like this. I understand pretty much that these bits are going to go on there. Correct. Okay, uh, now I'm a little bit cautious of doing this because this is the stock caller that comes with the card. Mm -hmm. So first off, am I going to invalidate my warranty by doing this? Yes. Alrighty, and so what comeback do I have if it all goes horribly wrong? Well, the thing is, nothing really should go wrong. Right. When you're taking any cooler off uh, any component, really, you just need to take time, take care, don't rush things, because when you start rushing things, uh, that's when mistakes happen. So if it feels like it's going wrong, stop, reassess, and then have another look. Absolutely, okay. yes. So I guess the next thing is to get this cooler off. How do we go about get, doing that? No problem. First of all, have a look at the back side of the graphics card. Yeah. You'll see eight large screws. Uh, along with the two at the end here, they hold the heat sink in place. There's also some tiny screws there, we'll get to them a little bit later when we take the main heat sink off. Okay, and it's worth mentioning that some graphics cards, it might be slightly different, but for reference boards from either NVIDIA or ATI, they're all going to be pretty much the same. They're pretty much identical, okay. yeah. Right, well let's start taking this thing off then. Um... Okay, so that's the last screw removed, so this should now just fall off. No, unfortunately not. It's right. not quite as easy as that. Okay. Uh, so basically, we need to prise this heat sink off. Now, this is probably one of the most difficult bits. You just need to give it a little bit of pressure, and then you you should start feeling it move in your hands. Right. Yeah. Kind of slide. See it moving a little bit. Yeah. yeah. And then eventually, it will just pop off, and it will come off with a bit of force, like that. Right. And then away it goes, and then okay. it's just a matter of disconnecting the fan, and that should just pop off. A little bit of proof. So force. we don't need this bit. We don't need that anymore. Okay, we'll get rid of that. And that's our graphics card. And as you can see, there's thermal paste around the GPU. Also, there's residue on the, the RAM heat sinks and also the FETs around here as well as the, the chipset at the end. Okay, so now we've got to clean this all up before we can start putting these bits back on. Correct, yes. Alright then, so first steps is what about this collar here? Is that. Well, that actually needs to come off. Now, that doesn't always need to come off. It depends on what VGA cooler you're using. Right. Because we're using this particular one, uh, we need to remove that so we can fit the RAM heat sinks around there. Okay, gotcha. Okay. All right, then. so let's, let's, let's get that off and then give it a clean, I guess. Yep, and that's what those eight little screws are. Right. Around here. So Fact. pop those off. Yes. Okay, so once you've removed those, just pop the card back down. This plate should then just come away, should be able to just lift that up. And that's and that, it. And well, that's discarded as well. Yep, we don't need that no more. Okay. So, time to clean the card up, and I guess it's pretty much the same sort of procedure as we did for the CPU. Very much so, yes. Okay, so it's everything cleaned up just like we did with the CPU, all the chips are nice and clean, so we're we ready to rock and roll now, yeah? Just one more thing I always like to do, if it's a, an old card that you're upgrading, what's always good is if you have something uh, like a can of compressed air, just give it a blow over, so any sort of residue, sort of tissue that you've got that just kind of come away, and also you'll notice some dust collected right, yeah. here and there, yeah. just give it a, a good blast with this stuff, so just watch... Uh, no, we won't do it that way. <laughs> So I just get just get through the wall, the dirt, you see a bit of the And then that is a card ready to go.